Hi guys, welcome to Techie Ocean. In this tutorial, we'll see angular forms. So there are two types of forms in angular. The first one is the reactive forms and the second is the template driven forms. So this is a simple chart showing the features in reactive forms and the template driven forms. So in the reactive form, the form model is more explicit since it is created in the component class. In the template driven form, it is less explicit since it is created by directives. So we will just come again to the chart once we create a small example or a setup project of reactive forms and template driven form. So let's begin. So let's quickly set up an angular form with reactive forms. So this is a simple angular 8 project. So in the add component, I will just import the form control from angular forms. In the app component, I will just write technology used equal to and I will just create an instance of form control, new form control. So we are trying to create a form control in the component class. by importing the form control from angular forms. So now let's go to the HTML. In the HTML I will just write technology used and I will just write form control equal to technology used here. Input type text form control as technology used and this is nothing but the one which we have declared here in the app component. So let's see this chart again. As you can see here, the form module of reactive forms is more explicit since it is created in component class. As you can see here that we are creating the form controls in the component class. And we are using the instance here. So if you try to run this, you will get an error saying can't buy form control. This is because we have to import the reactive form model in the app dot model. And we have to import this model in import section here. And if I try to run this again, you can see here that there is no error this time. So in case of reactive forms, as you can see here that the data model is structured, it is synchronous and the forms validations are handled by functions. In other words, reactive forms are more scalable and robust and they are more accessible in component class. So if I want to set some initial value in the text box, I can set it from the component class by accessing that form control instance. Here, I am just passing the value to be initial on the text box. So you can see we have complete control over the form control instance which is used in the HTML. So I will just run this and you can see here that the initial value is angular 7. Let's go to the app dot component. We can also set the value of this form control that is technology used text box programmatically. So we'll just go into the component class and just create a function set default value. This dot technology used dot set value. I will just write angular 8. I will just write a button set default and on the click of it I am just going to set a default value using this method. So let's run this. 
I'll just click on set button and you can see the value has changed to angular 8. I will just comment this out and instead of setting the value I will just write console.log this dot technology use dot value that is the value of the current value of the text box. So we are directly using or we are directly accessing this form control in the component class. So this is the beauty of reactive forms we have complete control of the form in our component class. So let's run this. So I will just change the value angular 8 is great and I will just click on set default and you can see here that we are printing the value of the text box here that is angular 8 is great in the console using this dot technology used dot value. So this is just a small setup of reactive forms in which we have seen that how we can access the control in reactive form in the component class. We have complete control over the form in the component class. We can access each and every element in the component class. So now let's set up a simple template driven form. So the template driven form is mostly created by directives. We don't have complete access of the elements of the form in the component class. So I'll just write technology used equal to empty string. This is the model and in the HTML I will just write technology used uh, ng model named as technology used which we have defined in the component. And I'm just going to use interpolation to display the value of that model here. Technology use. But before that, in the app.model, we have to import the forms model from Angular Forms and import our forms model here in the import section. This is just to use the ng model in the app.component.html so now you can see here in the template driven form we don't have any control over the instance of the form control we are just using a model here and we are just making the changes to the model through the text box there is only control over this model. We don't have any access of this control instance. So that's why the template driven form is directive driven. It's only created by directives. We have no access of the control completely in the component class. So as you can see here, whatever changes we are making here, it is displayed here. So you can see here. We are just accessing the model here. We are not accessing the actual instance or the actual control instance. We are just having an access to the directive that is the ng model and we are displaying here. So that's why template driven forms can be used only in the cases when we have to fill a simple form. So now after seeing the setup project of reactive and template driven form we can see here again. So the form model of the reactive class is more explicit since it is created in component class as you have seen and in the template driven form it is less explicit since it is created by directives. So the data model of reactive forms are structured and unstructured in case of template driven form. Reactive forms are synchronous, template driven forms are asynchronous. In case of data validation, in case of forms validation reactive forms supports functions but template driven forms supports directives and reactive forms are immutable that is they returns a completely new state of the form and they don't create or they don't maintain the same object or the same instance of the object actually they return a completely fresh new state but the 
template driven forms are mutable because they are completely dependent on the directives. We do not have complete access of the form control in the component class. So, in next tutorial, we can see an individual examples of reactive forms and template driven forms. So, that is it guys. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe, like or share.